No way. Yeah. No way. Oh my gosh. Like snapped in half. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the Beast and Bunch. It's the Beast and Bunch. Say so, hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to the Beast to and the Bunch. Beast and Bunch. Beast and Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So we've been vlogging throughout the week and there's actually been s so much fun stuff happening and also possibly a really sad thing that we'll get into in a second. Today, we are actually gonna be taking Stella to the doctor's office. She had a tumble the other day and she hasn't been crawling on it or putting any pressure on her wrist since. So we think she either sprained her wrist or it could possibly be broken. We have a doctor's appointment. We're gonna head to that. At the beginning of this video, we wanted to show Ozzy's first time riding her bike. She just got a bike, Tanner surprised her. One of those moments of just like, she's gonna be so amped. Like I'm so excited to give this person this thing and this, see their little reaction. Oh, cute hat. I'll wear that one instead. Look good? So we took her on her first bike ride. We'll put some clips of that here. What did you say? What kind of bike is it? Pink sparkle bike. <laughs> Helmet. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I gotta raise your seat a little bit, okay? Oh my gosh, Ozzy. Oh what? my gosh, Ozzy. What? Oh my are gosh, you, you are here. Stop! That's what I'm talking about! You are! You didn't even need us to teach you! Hi, Stella! Hi! Ah, are you skateboarding? So, Ozzy got her very first, her own bike. And I have my own bike! And she's riding it for the very first time. And she literally got on and just started riding it right away. <laughs> <laughs> Go Ozzy! Come on Ozzy, let's go to Ozzy! Nice day, Whoa! Uh oh! Okay. Your first fall! Yeah, your first crash! Whoa! Good job, Oz! And you did it so good, didn't even get hurt. And now pick up your bike and just put it back up. I'll help you. Pick it back up! Good. Let's put it on this. That's okay. It was a good fall. Keep going. Good job. Good girl. Nice job. Give me a smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she tumbled and she did really good at getting back up and continuing to ride her bike. So we we're proud of her. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. Just checking out your arm. Mm. It's your little hand hurting. Hey, what you doing? Go Stella, go Stella, go Stella. See, she'll move it around. It's this hand, but she won't put pressure on it. I'm really hoping that it's not broken. It's been a few days, so we gave it like three days before we took her in because it was the weekend, so we couldn't take her on Saturday or Sunday. Hoping it's not broken, but I wanted to check because if it is, I don't want it to heal wrong. Crossing my fingers. I don't really know what I want to expect because she still just can't put pressure on it, so I know it hurts, but I'm hoping that they tell me how to help her get better. Okay, I feel so sad. He said there's a good chance that it's broken. <laughs> Poor baby. So we're headed to radiology to get an x-ray right now. We find out. She's been such a trooper. So good. Good job, Stella. Got the x-rays done. Waiting for the doctor to come tell us what is going on. Were you so brave in the x-rays up, Stella? That's a beauty. Solid break? Solid break. No, Stella. Oh my goodness. Stella. Aww. Let's go see if we can find a splint. So when did this happen? This happened on Friday. Everyone's like, it couldn't be broken because she'd be crying, crying, crying. I'm like, I really think it could be broken. I think right now she would not need surgery. To protect your arm. It's officially broken. I am so sad for Stella. She's been such a trooper. Literally everyone 
that saw her was like, there's just no way that it's broken. She'd be crying. And I'm like, I really think it could be broken. Like there's a chance. I just had a feeling. It's straight up broken in half. Cleanest break you've ever seen in your life. It's not even like a hairline fracture. It's a full break in her freaking forearm. So now I'm headed back home and I'm gonna go tell Tanner that it's broken. And then we're waiting for basically the people that do the casting or if she needs surgery or whatever she needs. We're waiting for them to call us to schedule an appointment so we can take her to that. But for right now, let's go see what Tanner says. It's broken. Like in her forearm, just in half. Yeah, just snapped literally in half. <laughs> the baby. She needs to go night night. She fell asleep in the car. Oh. Isn't that the saddest thing you've ever heard in your life? Guess what? Stella's arm got broken. Can I see it, Mom? Yeah, it's really sad. It's the saddest thing ever. I want to see. Remember the arm that's been hurting her? Yeah, is it that one that's broken? It's her other one. She's so tough. <laughs> brave baby. She doesn't show the signs. That's why I was like, I'm gonna take her because she's just too she's tough just of a baby. She's a happy baby, like winced a little bit if you touch her arm. I know. She literally, it's broken in half. Yes. Mom! I'll show you, you the, the x-rays, x yeah. Oh my gosh, kid. Okay, this is the x-ray, I'm ready to see it. No way. Yeah. No way, oh my gosh. Like snapped in half. It's fully broken in half. Mm -hmm. I literally would have never guessed. I was the only one that was like, I, I need even to like, like I grabbed her arm and I did like twisting like this, and she yeah. was like, yeah. The only times is if I like pulled, she'd be like, I'm like, oh yeah, your wrist. I kept thinking like she maybe just bent her wrist weird, her chubby little arms on the yeah. X-rays. I had to hold her arm down like this. I was so sad. I'm in shock. And it's actually broken. So now we just have to wait for the call to go to the appointment. Hopefully they can get us in tomorrow. They'll tell us from there if she'll need surgery or if she'll need just a cast. If it's bad enough, they have to do surgery to make sure that it grows back normal. So strange turn of events. It started with Ozzy getting her new bike and her first bike ride. And we're here with Stella and a broken arm. Yeah rewind to how this all happened so on friday we were getting ready to go to the gym ozzy woke up with stella at the same time stella was actually so happy when she woke up usually she's she's, she's so not cute. sad when she wakes up but sometimes she'll be like yelling for us on friday she woke up and she was just like laughing and i went in there and she was being so like extra cute and then ozzy woke up the exact opposite was just like woke up i don't know if she had a bad dream or just oh, slept this bad is them, this is them this is them once again oh hello This is she. Hi, Lauren. Sorry, Hi. this is Amy, Dr. Sutherland's office. Oh, nice. Hello. Okay. So, I am still working on the appointment, but they did recommend that we get Stella into a splint. Oh. Um, just so that those bones don't shift, have the possibility of shifting anymore between today and when you see them. They do have openings tomorrow, it sounds like. Okay. We're just wondering if you might be able to bring her back to have us splint her real quick. That sounds good. Okay, so she needs a splint. Well, yeah, so basically Ozzy woke up. She just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and she was like crying and, da, 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 and they were both on the couch and I was out there with them, kind of getting ready for the gym. They were both just like on the carpet. And then all of a sudden Ozzy just started crying. She asked for like a fruit snack or something. And I was like, no, you can't have a fruit snack. Like you need breakfast. And then she's been doing this thing lately where she's like, she stomps hmm. off to her room. Stomps off to her room, but she did it like she was screaming. And I was like, well, that came out of nowhere. I like kind of followed her to her room. And as I followed her to her room, Stella was also like, I want to see what happened. So she, Stella crawled on the couch and then like leaned over the arm of the couch to like see what Ozzy was doing. And as she leaned over, she just toppled 
my back was turned, so I just heard her s slam on the ground. If you could tell, she, she was hurt. Oh, Ozzy, you, you need a shirt hurt. on. Do you want to put a shirt on? Hurt. That's what I'm talking about. This is a newfound thing the last few days. Yeah. So yeah, so she toppled. You could tell that she was like actually her. I like sprinted over, picked her up, but then she like cried for a little bit, let's and then get, she was done. Let's get Ozzy a shirt on. You wanted to join us? Yeah. I could tell that Stella, like it was like hurt. So I picked her up and I was holding her and she cried for like 30 seconds and then she was done. And but we were mainly looking at like if she had a concussion. Yeah, feeling for a bump on her head, looking at her eye, like we were doing all that kind of stuff. I like looked at her limbs, but everything looked normal. And we'd like went on throughout the day. She was like a little whiny. And every time she would whine a little bit, we'd just be like, yeah, I mean, she had that fall, like, duh, you know, she's gonna be sad. And then it wasn't until nighttime where we like noticed that she was doing this weird crawl like, thing crawl? at Sarah and Derek's. Like has her arm in the air and she's like, and then I was like, oh my gosh, like she probably hurt her clicked. wrist. And then I like flashed back and like when I was putting her in her car seat, like I had to move her arm under Makes under her so strap sad. and she like winced and think we weren't it. thinking of it. Yeah, like she was just like so calm and like not crying. And then after that, like you notice, like anytime you touched her arm to put in her seatbelt or like one time we tried to like help her walk during that day before we knew, like this. Like this. <laughs> and she was like, ah, and, and like, we're like, oh, she just like doesn't want to walk today. It makes you feel like candy, the worst parent candy, ever. Candy, candy, Ugh. Anyway, we feel bad and we're going to take care of her, but I still feel bad that she's had this. It's just nuts because Ozzy has like taken some like much harder spills. Yeah. You know? Well, we just didn't see it either. It was just probably how yeah. she hit. Yeah, Mommy. totally. We're going to go, when she wakes up, go back and get the splint on. But yeah, that's the story. I'm gonna home this whole thing in one bite. <laughs> Our friends just brought us the sourdough, so thank you to them. <laughs> thank you, Brittany. I know Connor didn't do it. Because of finding out about Stella's arm, but we do have to wake up Stella now to go get her splint put in. She just wants to sleep. She's so sweet. We're gonna eat a piece of bread and then head up to go get her splint put on. Okay, my brave baby, let's go get you a splint, okay? We're gonna go make your arm feel better. We are back at the doctor's office. Hey. Did you break your arm? Did you break your arm? Oh, stinker. Still kind of big for her. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, it's still way too big for her. <laughs> You're not meant to break your arm. She's not terribly tender about it. You like that? It's a little good. Okay, baby, let's see your little splint. Let me see Stella. Hi, mommy. Hi. She's like, I don't want to raise my arm. It's too heavy. Stella. All right, you have toothpaste off. on your... <laughs> <laughs> it's getting really fast. They just got us an appointment today. It wasn't supposed to be till tomorrow. But they're like, it's at 11 and it's an hour and 10 minutes away. And right now we're an hour and 10 minutes away. So we got to go fast. Lauren and has I some work to do. And I can't even go because Ozzy has preschool today and yeah. I have some work to do. So hopefully we get Stella, a cute cast. Pick the pink one. <laughs> No, we're getting blue. No, pink. No, green. Pink. Green. It's okay, an hour and a half later, we made it to the doctor. We're at a little urgent care. So they're gonna go tell us if she's gonna need surgery or if she can just get a cast on today. Hopefully, because it's a hard drive on, we can just get a cast. Hey, give me that. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Uh, 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 <laughs> she found the toys okay so they explained that there was probably a previous injury to Stella's arm and that this fall kind of just finished it off don't break my mask <laughs> so they're doing a full arm cast it's gonna be bent we picked pink right Stella it's gonna be on for four weeks we have another appointment next week to check and make sure everything's healing straight but they're gonna put that on right now. Stella? Uh. What do you think? No. <laughs> Stella fully ripped my mask off. Also, she's just on the ground playing with both hands as if she didn't have a completely broken in half arm. You tough, girl. Are you tough? Yeah, you're playing. Just using, using that arm. 
like it's not broken in half. All right, they got the cast on. It goes all the way up to her shoulder. She did so good. It was really sad. They had to twist her arm like this way. That's why she looks like she's like holding it open. She didn't really kick around. She just kind of winced, cried a little bit, huh? She was so brave. Good job, sis. Hey, you. You want to go show mommy your new cast? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Mommy, Stella has something to show you. Stella, my baby. Stella has something to show me. Oh my God. Show mommy, show mommy, show mommy. Oh, what do you think about her cast, Ozzy? Ozzy, look at her cast. She was really brave. Really? Yeah. It was really sad. Okay. She cried. She did? Yeah. yeah. I would have cried. Yeah, because they had to turn her arm like this. Oh, See how her cast is like open? She never like screamed, but she was just like, ah. Okay, so quick update on the doctor's visit with Stella's cast. You saw that she got the cast all the way up her arm. She's doing good. She just slept the whole way home. Little angel, of course. But the doctor did tell us that she wants us to do some follow-up visits. Apparently, there was a little tiny break in her arm before this actual break that we just found. So she had fallen at some other time and gotten a little fracture and she's just so freaking tough that we had no idea. She's like fully crawling, like... No, she never, she's not, never... I mean, no signs. She's fallen a few times, you know, trying to crawl up on the couch and like falling down. But like, look at her couch. It's so loud. This, this tall. It's literally. It's like the lowest yeah. couch ever. So they want us to do some extra tests to just see if there, she has a deficiency in something, if her bone, bones are weak. And so we have that scheduled for Monday. Also Monday is her checkup for her cast to make sure everything's lined up properly. She's too sweet to go through all of this. Like in pain, that makes me like want to cry. Okay, so it's the next day. We just got back from the gym and got a voicemail from our pediatrician. We last left off, there was some more tests that Stella needed to do because there was an existing fracture in her arm from three weeks ago that we just never noticed because she never gave any signs of pain or anything. I literally took her in to her one-year-old appointment to get like her one-year-old shots and all that like checkup three weeks ago when we first got back to Hawaii and like the doctor didn't notice anything like like no signs and like we literally record our life every day for a living and you can just like she's just happy she's just playing so we get this call from him and he's a voicemail and he's like hey i don't think we can wait till monday to get those tests done you have to go today and then just left it at that and we're like what and so we call him back and basically what it came down to is he said because there was an existing fracture that she wasn't brought in for there's a red flag on her account and basically cps gets involved if you don't follow these protocols to bring her in. But I understand that they need to because I'm sure like this obviously happens a lot and they have a protocol, which I'm grateful for. But when you are in a position where you know you've absolutely done everything to keep your kids safe, it's a really weird pill to swallow. It's yeah. like sad. Because yeah. Whatever. Like even somebody would think that. Like I know it's just like protocol, but it's still it's, like these are our babies like we would never do anything to hurt them we just try and do everything to protect them so it's just weird to be in this position and like i already feel guilty that we didn't notice before that her arm had been fractured like she didn't give any signs like on top of feeling guilty that like she was possibly in pain before like no we have to like do all this stuff i just feel bad yeah, so we're gonna take her in today and do the tests and go with their protocol so that there's, I don't know. It also just sucks um, for Stella to have to like get her blood drawn and do all this stuff that she doesn't need to be going through. And it's a long day for her to drive in the car. It's an hour, 15 minutes away. So it'll be another all day event for her, which is just like, I know it's like not the worst thing in the world, but 
it's just like, yeah. Okay. Hi, Stella. We made it back to the talk there. Hopefully this all goes smooth. We can get in, get the extra x-rays. Hopefully we don't have any other owies. Right, baby? <laughs> and uh, we can be on our way. So there was a four and a half hour wait at the ER, which is I guess where we were supposed to go and wait through. Luckily the doctor called and ordered x-rays here, so we didn't have to do that. Stella just got checked in or whatever, so we should be able to go back shortly. Just been hanging out. Also, she blew out of her diaper onto her shorts. We're down to just diapers. Dad didn't bring an extra outfit. Good job, <laughs> Good job. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> There's the x-ray machine still there. You can lay right here. Okay, we made it to the lab. They're gonna draw her blood now, and I guess they have to do a urine test. All right, we finished all of our tests. Right, Stella? Now we're just at the cafeteria. Just a little kids. Play place. They had to do a blood draw, which I was waiting to be really sad. They like pinned her down, like, here we go. All these other kids are like crying in there. Stick the needle in, get the vein first try, and she goes like this. That's it. No noise. Just it's like, who are you? And then I was like, this is why we didn't understand that she had a broken arm. She's the highest pain tolerance in the world. Now we have to stay here, I guess, and wait for them to read the x-rays. They're gonna give us a phone call. I just got a sandwich from Starbucks. Got her a little milk to get those bones stronger. <laughs> and hopefully we're not here much longer. Oh, they also have to do this urine test, but I was like, she's in a diaper. She doesn't know how to go. I like, I don't know how to get that. They're like, oh, we just put a bag in there. So it looks like this. <laughs> just gotta wait for that little guy to fill up with pee. Can't leave until you pee. <laughs> Stella, will you please pee so we can go home? Hello. Okay. Yes, we peed. We peed. Good job, Stella. Say yay. <laughs> I'm so freaking exhausted. We just got home. Stella slept the whole way. She's a little angel. That was a long day. It started at 10. It's 5 now. 7 hours from when I left the house to when I got back. Hopefully, we don't have to do that again anytime soon. <laughs> Hello. So it was definitely quite the eventful weekend and week. We just got the call from all her appointments that Tanner took her to yesterday that she's good in all the other areas. So that was good. We're glad to know she's healthy in all the other ways. It's been kind of nuts and crazy. And also the more we talk to people about it, this seems like a pretty general protocol that they've taken that the hospital does to make sure that the there are, are yeah the kids are safe and and which at the end of the day we're obviously very grateful it's, for it's a good thing yeah and we're glad that they do this and it's really sad to think that there are families out there that are going through this but also just like it's been kind of emotional to go through and i just felt kind of, bad for stella and yeah like for stella to have to go through all this you don't for, even want to like think about that so yeah you don't even want to like imagine that that could even be a possibility so yeah. we're glad every, everything tested out we had our visit with the um, child welfare person today and they're like yeah this definitely just seems like an accident and we're like yeah <laughs> like we already feel so bad that she fell off the couch and then we're like getting interrogated so it was emotional but we're glad that's like, over with anyway she's good and we're good and i'm so glad that otherwise stella is very healthy that's the update and send your love to stella to get better soon. Her cast is not waterproof, so she's not gonna be able to swim for a while, which is sad. But it's four weeks of a cast and then yep. she'll be getting off. So we're looking forward to that day already. Well, thanks for coming along with us. Like Lauren said, we're just grateful that everyone's healthy and happy. We love you guys. Thanks for all the support as always. And subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.